please join me in welcoming the amazing mayor of Aventura, Howard Weinberg. Wow. So I got to say, you just learned your first lesson as high school grads. When someone stands before you and says, I'll be brief, don't believe them. <laughs> I kid, I kid. John and I are good friends. We have a lot of competition going on. We both like to give speeches without scripts, always from the heart. But today he beat me, because today I have a script. This was too exciting for me, and I was too nervous. But what a guy, I think you heard, adopted two children, gave them a chance in life, gave them an opportunity to thrive, and again, he beat me. I rescued one baby from an orphanage in Siberia when he was 10 months old. Now he's my, one of my three children in college. So again, we're competing. And let me tell you, what an honor. Look who I'm sitting next to. The guy whose name is on your uniforms. How cool is that? Amazing that we're having our first graduating class and I get to call Don So for a friend. So, I've only been your mayor for six months. This is the most exciting moment since being sworn in. I only have three minutes to tell you how proud of you I am and how proud the whole city is. A high school in Aventura was a campaign issue back when I first campaigned for com the city commission in 2012. And now look, I'm especially proud personally because when my parents first met each other, they were both school teachers. I know we've already done this, but how about a round of applause for educators? From my earliest days, what I heard around the house was education, education, education. I do have a tendency to take things to the extreme. You heard from your principal that I did end up with three college degrees, but because of that, I'm privileged to stand before you today. So go ahead, Don Sofer Aventura High School graduates. Be extreme in your pursuit of learning. Be extreme in your pursuit of your passion. Be extreme in your pursuit of success. Be extreme in your pursuit of happiness. Push yourself to new limits. Some follow a trail, but you all forged your own. Some walk in the footprints of greats, in the footsteps of greats, but you must establish yourselves as the greats so others can walk in your footsteps. As the first graduating class from Don Sofer Aventura High School, you've created a legacy. You have set the standard. The entire city is deeply proud of who you are, what you have accomplished, and what we are confident will be the incredible things to come from all of you. Building a high school was not an easy task. It was a discussion point for years. It was a dream for years. It became a reality thanks to the city commission that I joined in 2012 and that my predecessor mayor, Enid Weissman, joined in 2014. Each and every one of us were dedicated public servants who knew the value that it would bring to our community and the lives that it would help shape. I want to thank you and your parents. All of you took a chance on something new. You took a chance on our vision for a school when none existed. None of you had to choose so for high. Just as we believed in you, you believed in us. And we are eternally grateful for that. As you move on to continue your education, you'll take on new responsibilities. You'll find new opportunities. As you do, I ask you to remember three things. 
I mean, I also want you to remember me, but today's about you. First, nothing is impossible. Things like iPhones were unheard of when I graduated from high school. I drove 1,500 miles to Florida to go to college. I was in one car, and my college roommate-to-be was in another. We communicated the whole way with CB radios. I'm pretty sure not one graduate in this room has ever seen a CB radio. <laughs> Ask your parents. They were really, really cool. Now we're on the verge of a generation of artificial intelligence that we cannot yet understand the impact of. If you can dream it, you can do it. Go out and change the world. Second, I ask you to remember the words of the great sage, Rabbi Hillel. If I am not for myself, who will be for me? If I am only for myself, what am I? If not now, when? Be your own greatest advocate. But remember that you are nothing if your existence is only for yourself. Dedicate yourself to making the world a better place, whether through small acts of kindness or grand plans to reshape lives. And remember that the time for action is always now. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you know to be right. Finally, our society has turned into a place where far too often we confuse an opponent for an enemy. Listen to each other. Keep your mind open to understanding, even if you don't agree. Delve your mind into learning from those who come from different places, have had different experiences, and see the world differently than you do. You don't have to agree, but you'll make our world a far better place if you prioritize understanding and tolerance over demonizing and winning. Two ears, one mouth. Listen twice as much as you speak. Life, as most of you have known it, will be very different in a few months. Those who loved you and helped you to get to where you are didn't do it by accident. The most brilliant among you will be amazed at how little you knew when you look back in 10 years. That is still true for your parents as well. Don't be afraid to call home seeking advice, seeking a sounding board, and seeking love. Parents especially, I want to thank you for entrusting us with your children. I know that we already did it, but I want to applaud the parents. <laughs> Graduates, go blaze new trails. Change the world. Come back and tell us all about it. And most importantly, have fun doing it. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.